Welcome to the Sales Acceleration Show. And for the first time in 40 episodes, I finally managed to get a true sales expert, somebody that's actually doing the same thing as I'm doing. He has a company called The House of Sales. This is Bruno. Bruno, explain to our viewers what you do. Okay, first of all, uh, Michael, thank you for having me on the, on the show. Mine. We are colleagues, and yeah. you see that colleagues, uh, they, they can get, go, go along very well. Yeah. Um, so we created the company back in 2004. Um, our vision at that time was, and is still actually, that um, companies need sales culture. Yeah, okay. a lot more. A lot Looking more. Looking to America, other companies, exactly. they are very... Uh, I, Fundamentally agree. Yeah. Exactly. Well, we can give a lot of reasons why, uh, because well, at university, sales is considered as something dirty. They don't, they don't teach the perception that. is not with us. So these are only two reasons why uh, a lot of, of companies are struggling with their yeah. sales. And yet, every company needs sales. Exactly. To exist and well, to grow. It's, it's simple as that. It's the engine. It's the engine. It's the engine yeah. to convert assets into euro, and that's exactly. what our mission is to help. Um, companies to turn over their, their assets, which most of the time are very valuable, into, yeah. into euros. Yeah. Uh, that's what we do. So instead of doing the classic approach, I think as we are two experts, we're going to do a little spin on this. I'm yeah. going to ask you some tough questions that they always ask me, and yeah. you can do the same to me. So let's try and corner each yeah. other. That's going to make it very so interesting. So you will let me suffer? Yes, I okay. will let you suffer. And finally, I can. <laughs> so the first question, I always get this one. Why on earth does it take so long for to sell to corporates? It takes nine to eight yeah. months. It just keeps going. How come? What would be your advice? Yeah, that's a classical question. Um, yeah. Sales cycles are becoming longer and longer. And the reason behind it is that you have more and more stakeholders in the process. Is there a difference, before you go on, is there a difference between a SaaS type of business or just let's say a regular type of business or it doesn't matter it's probably the size of the amount that defines the speed yeah well SaaS business is more most of the time is via telesales inside sales yeah. whereas um, small SaaS yeah, yeah exactly there's more transactional yeah so this is much more uh, through telephone whereas um, complex sales or solution sales is more face-to-face -face oriented yeah. so there is a big big difference so as I, as, as I said, you have more stakeholders involved. Huh? Average five, six, seven people sometimes, uh, top-down, cross-functional. Yeah. Of course, they all have individual agendas. Yeah. <laughs> so as a sales, you have to bring them together in a consensus. Mm -hmm. okay? And that is the reason why it takes so much time and why it's so complex. Is there a way to shortcut? Well, that's what salespeople would like to do because yes. they are, of course, under huge pressure from their management, of uh, quarterly driven. Yeah. Uh, shortcuts. Hmm. The problem is that you can shortcut your sales process, but you can hardly shortcut the buying process exactly. of your customer. So that's, exactly. that's the issue. So in the end, if you shortcut, you will be at the finish line on your own without a customer being yeah. there. I tried it many times and it frustrated me sometimes like crazy because and then I just learned to go with the wave. Yeah. And the trick is actually to broaden your pipeline, have more deals in yeah. there, so you actually know so they can fall, you can actually move yeah. around against yeah. them. What, what if I ask you another question then? So typically you say, so we have corporate deals and then the other one is like, deal sizes tend to go smaller and smaller. So what, what, what would be your advice there? Is there any advice you say? Like, yeah. Think of this or Well, there is an advice because um, so customers are struggling in their decision process. Um, the only thing you can do as a sales is to help them make a decision yeah. in exactly. your favor. And the only way they will accept you to facilitate in the decision making process is when you learn them something new about their business they were not even aware of. Yeah. So if you succeed to do that, they will accept you to facilitate in that complex decision making. Another one. I finally got I you, get so really I'm going to ask you the question. I really, so, yeah. Solution selling. Yes. Is it that or not? Because there's a lot, you know, there's a lot around provocative selling, you know, the challenge yeah. sale of the book. I teach a lot in that. I help a lot. But still, I have a lot of people coming to me to spin methodology. I'm just wondering, what, what's your opinion on this one? Well, it's still there, yeah, yeah, right? Of course, uh, it's still there. Solution. Do you still uh, teach it, or you? 
Yeah, parts, of course. What, what we do is to take the best of all these methodologies. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, besides that, also developed our own methodology, the reality circle. And actually, what we bring is, is based on the challenges of our customers. So mm -hmm. that's why we invest a lot of in... in so uh, you actually look at the buying process. That's the yeah, key, yeah. how they move and you exactly. facilitate and you exactly. help them grow, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, we, what we try to do is to uh, develop for our customers, co-develop with them, yeah. together yeah, with them. Course. What is your ideal sales cycle? And what is the process that your customer is following before he's making a decision? Yeah. And as a last one, we try to integrate both of the, yeah. the, these two together. And as a good sales, you should have control over, over yeah. both. So it's always control. It's control. Uh, if you ask me what is a good sales, that's someone who is in control from the early start until the end, the closing included. What, what's the thing that frustrates you the most when you meet like new customers, when people talk to you about sales? And I mean, I have this thing when each time I see them, I said, look, you simply do not have enough deals in your pipeline. Mm -hmm. How on earth can you close deals? It does not even to do with sales training because they always ask sales training, right? They come yeah. to you and say, you know, give me sales training. Sales training is not the answer. You first need to look yeah. at so what, what's now, I told you mine, yeah. show me yours. Well, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a very good uh, feedback, uh, Michael. Uh, of course, sales training on itself will not solve no. the problem. No. Um, it will give you uh, refreshing insights. Exactly. Um, it will boost the motivation of your people. But in the end, uh, what we need to do and what we both do is uh, make sure that these best practices and insights are put into execution. Yes. In real life, okay. Operational effectiveness, or whatever you call it. Yeah. And if people, if people, um, they see that these best practices are working for their specific business, they will change their attitude. They will change their behavior. So it's they, proper change management. Absolutely. And it takes time. It takes time. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I have the same. They phone me, say, Michael, come and give a sales training. And I basically started saying, no, it's not going to do anything else unless exactly. you want to change the whole cycle or the yeah. process then I'm willing to do it because otherwise it just doesn't make sense. And right, they feel good. It's a lot of fun. Huh? I love Absolutely. to do sales yeah, yeah, training. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot yeah, of fun yeah, yeah. And, and they're all energized. But then yeah. exactly. and then they phone yeah. me, nothing changed. Yeah. That's how I stopped saying, okay, yeah. I'm never exactly. going to do it again. Yeah. So we talked about corporate sales. We, if, if I would then look at scale-ups. So how would you, if the scale-ups ask you the, nec the next question, because I get this question from them. So Michael, I have a lot of competition out there. How do I win? What mean? would you say? It's a tough one. Eh? It's many, many Specifically aspects. Specifically for how do I win against like these large competitors? All right. I'm the in English they say the incumbent. I'm fighting against the big. Yeah, let's the say big I'm ones. a software company in ERP and I'm fighting against SAP. What do I do? To All me? right. Okay. That's a tough. That's an, it's, a tough, it's a fun one. I would say small is beautiful. Okay, <laughs> because you have uh, let's say the small size allows the startup or the scale up. Sorry, to be uh, agile. Yes. Uh, to have a yes we can attitude. Yeah. Fearless. Um, to fearless, exactly. Like Just try exactly. stuff. Uh, maybe they, are, they can make a difference by being much more open to requests coming from the customer mm -hmm. compared to the corporates who want to standardize their offerings and try to convince uh, their customers to take the, the, the standard uh, Would offerings. Would you be more flexible on pricing? Because that's always a tough one. Personally, I'm not flexible on pricing uh, because if there is too much attention given to pricing, um, well, you know that probably you have missed the opportunity to valorize yeah. your offer into euros. So if, if, if you're able to, to prove that uh, taking your offer or your service or product uh, is a no-brainer, discussions on pricing will be uh, highly reduced. So of course, yep. uh, you have these pu public tenders uh, type of yeah, business. That's a different business. But that's different. That, that, yeah. that's, yeah. that's a business. I mean, I, I used to do a lot of stuff in the government business. Yeah. I mean, if you look at simple bonds, you know, yeah. do they have budget? Tons yeah. of it. Do they have yeah. a need? Man, it's not the building is yeah. burning. It's like collapsing in the sinkhole. Exactly. Uh, but then you get to, to, to authority. Yeah, I'm talking to the right. And then you get to time frame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, election is coming in three years, so <laughs> yeah. not going to move. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly yeah. So, so forget about it. Yeah, yeah. It's not going to work. Yeah. So as we need to wrap it up, do mm -hmm. you have any final, I, I, I'm going to sales, I'm, uh, I'm looking at this, what, what, where should I start? What should I really think? Is there like one advice you say, just keep that in mind? 
Okay, so um, maybe two pieces of advice. Is the first is focus on the business of your customers, yeah. because uh, customers are not interested in your products or your services. They They're just in their own. Exactly. Yes, they, they, are, they are interested in their own. Yeah. What can I get out of this, of this deal? This, yeah. this is what... Can I ask a side question? Yeah. yeah. If you have to pick one in the beginning, quantity or quality? Because I just had a, we had a, a guest talking about a hospitality business and he said, whatever you do, it needs to be quality yeah. or they kill you. But in exactly. many cases, I'm not always in favor of, of, of quality. I'm sometimes in favor of just quantity because you need to figure out what's going to work, what's not going to work. Yeah. So what would be your... Well, what is the best? It's, it's a mix of both. Uh, you cannot go for the full cap. We're polarizing here. Huh? Exactly. Black or white. So exactly. uh, what do you yeah. pick? Oh, <laughs> you, you, you take quantity, I'll take the quality. Then. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, you had a second? Yeah, and then the second. So first of all is uh, full focus on the business of your customers. I said before, if you're able to bring something new to the business of your customers they were not even aware of, they will buy from you. So yeah. go away from your own products and services. And then secondly, and by means of summary, control. Control. Control the process. That's not the only, fundamental thing. Exactly. Term. From the beginning the, until the start, but also the, the purchasing Almost uh, process. predict what they will do. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Perfect. And with that, if you like what you've heard, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for a lot more content. And Bruno, always Thanks a Thanks a lot, Michael. Me.